Welcome to, a, welcome to another Iron Sharpens Iron conversation starter. Today I want to look at plans. Someone said, life is what happens while you're making other plans. There's a lot of truth in that. Sometimes we look back at our life and we want to know where it all went. And then all of a sudden we look back and that thing that God had planned for our life We've just been missing it over and over and over again because other things have just continued to happen. I was looking at Jeremiah one day, Jeremiah 29, 11, and I don't know if you've ever noticed it, but plans is in that verse three times. When I saw it in there three times, it kind of started to make me think, okay, this must really be important. So I went back and I looked at the verse and then I used the acronym plans. I love acronyms, like I've said earlier. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Guys, God's got a plan for your life. God wants to give you the desires of your heart, the things that you need. Remember the, the, the Lord's Prayer, give us our daily bread. And he's got a plan for your hope. And he's got a future plan for you. But guys, we get so busy that we miss it so many times. So I would just want to take a couple of minutes here and just look at the word plans. The P in plans is purpose. Men, God's got an amazing purpose plan for you. I love Jeremiah 1 verses 5. He says, before you were born, I knew you. I set you apart. And I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Guys, God knew you. God formed you. God appointed you. And God gave you a purpose. In Jeremiah's case, it was a prophet to the nations. What's your blank? Guys, don't go to heaven and leave it all behind you. Live it out while you're here. The L is, is let go of what hurt you, but never forget what it taught you. Guys, this is key is, is there's so many times that things and people hurt us, but we can learn from those. You know, I heard a pastor yesterday, he said, our obstacles become the training ground for our purpose. Guys, it's so true. The things that we've been through in life, the things that have happened in life, all of a sudden, we can see how God starts using them and he keeps using them. And it's just amazing. The A is, is an action is, is we need to take an action. Guys, if we don't ever move, if we don't ever step, if we don't ever take part in things and learning things and stepping out to where God wants us, we'll just sit in the same old pew for 20, 30, 40 years and end up with the same old life. Guys, God is always showing you what he has planned for your life. I love to tell people is, is there are three C's to your purpose. The first one is, is a concern. God always places a concern on your heart. The next thing is, is how do you turn that concern into a cause? See, that cause is something that's bigger than you. It's something that God has to show up to do. And it's God has to work in your life, but it always begins with that concern. And the last C is, is commitment. Guys, most of us are good at committing, not to commit to anything. Guys, when God puts something in your heart, you need to commit to fulfilling it. You need to do action because that's what it takes to do it. The end is, is to never give up, guys. There are going to be obstacles all along the way, all along as you're stepping out into God's plan for your life. There are going to be people chirping in your ear. There are going to be circumstances that happens. Guys, push through. Babe Ruth says it's hard to beat a guy that keeps getting up. Be that guy that keeps getting up. And the S is to stay focused on what really matters. Guys, don't let Satan come and distract you from what God has planned for your life. Guys, I'm telling you, God has got amazing purpose just sitting here waiting for you to value it enough to live it out.
Just think about where God's been working in your life, what God's been doing in your life, and join him there. It will lead you directly to your purpose. Thank you guys. There are going to be questions at the end. Start your conversations.